North Star Prep Center. It is a windy one here in Minnesota today. Oh my goodness. So I need to finish my other trellis from my arbor. So I built my first one so I knew what I was doing and I'm going to show you how I did that with the second one. So let's get started before I blow away. Hey guys it is a super windy day but it is time for me to attach these boxes to the 4x4 posts at my gate. So I need to get all this old wire off of here. So I'm just pulling these fence staples that attach the wire. I screwed the bottom one in using 9x3 wood screws. That'll make it easier for getting it out when I need to replace the wood. I've got my corner piece all ready to go. As you can see, there's, because of where they went together, I screwed them in on this side. I've got three there. And then I'm going to attach these. I've got four screws so that two will go into the top and two will go into the bottom. And just make it a little more secure. It prevents this from warping. So as you can see, there's a longer side and a shorter side. The longer one you want to put on the side that has um, the joint because then it will, it'll have more purchase on the wood that's over here than if I had the shorter side would be very close to the edge here and I could have splitting as well as um, coming apart more easily when it starts to rot a little bit. So I'm just going to secure the top one first. Because I have it up against the fence, I didn't want to put a corner one on there. That's a small enough box I don't need to. So the box is secured on the other side of the front but to prevent this from warping up or anything, I'm gonna put a piece of wood here to secure it on this side. That's all level. There we go. So despite how secure this box is and solid, it's only attached to these by three screws, which I can easily take out when I need to replace these posts, which I think this next year sometime I'm gonna to have to replace that one because it is starting to rot. Um, and then I can keep this, this planter intact. I don't have to worry about taking out dozens of screws, just three. Okay, the next thing I need to do is put some chicken wire up about this high so that the rabbits can't get through. Any higher than that, I'll have other fencing up here, but I need to be able to get through the top in case whatever's growing gets stuck between them. So this is a piece I took off before, and it's too long. Not only is it too long, but it's pretty, it's pretty hatched out on the bottom. So according to the other one, if I cut it halfway, it was just right, and then I can staple it in. So I've got my wire cutters, and I'm just going to cut below the, um, the middle line that's going through. And I will tell you that you do need to have chicken wire 
to keep the rabbits out. Just rabbit fencing doesn't do it. So here I'm reusing what I had before. The other thing I'm going to do so that I don't get caught on any of this is I'm going to turn these little ends under so they're not sharp and it'll give me some areas where I can um, actually put the staples in too. So you can see it gives a, a nicer edge where I don't have to worry about catching my clothes or catching my skin on any of that and injuring myself. So do the other side too. Make sure you wear gloves when you do this so you don't cut yourself. Alright, that's got a finished edge. And the other one does. I'll straighten this out a little bit. This is old fencing. I've had this for 25 years. But it's still serving its purpose, still doing well. There we go. That's the first line of defense there. That will keep the bunny rabbits out for a while. The next thing I need to do is cut the wire that's gonna go up for the trellis. Okay. So, you know, when you downsize fencing or if you have extra, don't get rid of it. Keep it on hand. You can see that I cut off a section of this for the other trellis. So I'm gonna keep on um, unrolling this and cutting it. And so I've got, I actually have some nice fencing to use as like supports for my peonies and things so yeah it's gonna work out well I'll just make a new roll of the shorter stuff so what I'm doing is I'm cutting a section that's five squares across so one two three four five and um, about six feet long okay so I've got my wire piece cut now my boxes are 16 inches wide. The post here is 16 inches wide. So I want the wire to go up so that I can secure it and attach it against these outer beams here. These are support beams. When my plants are growing in here, so it can go fairly straight up instead of coming in and then out around everything, I want to have my fencing secured inside the box here and then I'll secure it as it goes up. Now in order to fit it down here to be able to put some staples in I had to cut out a piece of the wire so it could fit inside the box and rest on there. So I'm going to just put a couple staples in here. I tried using a staple gun and they just pulled right out on my other one that I did. So, there we go. That's secure to the box now. So now when I have to go and replace this post, I only have these two to have to take out and the, and the three screws. And that's all I have to do for the box. A little bit, little bit more for replacing the post, but not much. Okay, so I've secured one here. Now I have to put one over here. I'm trying to work around the camera here. Things are all kind of crooked, so I'm working the best I can with what I have. Measure the top. Okay, so if I were to do 18 inches wide, 
that would be just fine. I could go to 19 if I had to. These are two inches wide, so um, these are four inches. Here to here, we've got 46 inches. I could go to just the post since I have some trellis that's overlapping here. So that would make it 44 inches. So if I did 18 by 44, that should be plenty. All right, I'm gonna have to get up and saw this. So I'm gonna set you guys down while I do that because it's a little precarious up there. But yeah, using a handsaw, I'll let you know how it goes. There we go, there's one. Okay, I've got my piece of wire, I'll cut. Get back up here. Oop, just lost my hammer. Okay, I decided to go 16 wide with just a little bit extra, so it's maybe 16 and a half. Um, because I didn't want to be wrapping around the edges here. And the 16, the, the four rectangles here, gave me enough to be able to attach it here. And, it was, and that was a good enough support. So this side overlaps a little bit. And this side is just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach everything. done. I've got it all attached so everything can climb up and over. And there it is. Trellis going up, over, down the side. All with used wire reclaimed materials that I had on my property. It didn't cost me anything. The boxes were made out of scraps. I'm ready to grow things. My arbor is six feet tall, so the boxes it can grow about five feet up and over. I think this is gonna be great. So guys, this is an incredibly windy one here. Oh my goodness, the wind seems to be coming from all over the place. I can't get away from it. Yeah, we've got gusts going to about 45 miles an hour. I just hope my plants can take it. Thanks for coming along with me on this DIY build. So, Again, just using free things that I have right here. I'm gonna let you go before this hurts your ears. Take care, God bless. Always have hope. Bye-bye.